Welcome to my channel. I am Intuitive Empress. If you are viewing me on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do become a follower or a subscriber to support this channel. So I do appreciate every one of you. We are going to get into the energy of this reading. Please know that messages are timeless and fluid. So when you see this message, there is something here for you. All right. Don't forget to visit my Etsy shop um, or TikTok shop for Oracle cards, manifestation jewelry, manifestation jars, crystal jars. All right. If you are on YouTube, you can join the membership where we'll be going into more spiritual matters, spiritual warfare. If you are awakening and need more information and to have a soul tribe that understands what you are going through. All right. We do have a sponsor, Team Wu, and some other sponsors that will be in the video on YouTube. So please check them out. Team Wu provides a $100 coupon bundle for a new um, person to the app. If you're not new, you get 30% off and everyone gets free shipping and free returns if necessary. I do use Team Wu myself and have gotten some great things at a discount, okay, at a stream discount. So check it out. While you're viewing this message, eat the meat, what resonates with you and throw away the bone. Don't get choked up, okay? So we are going into the message. We have the universe card. We have God looking at you from the universe. We have a light that is shining through you okay your intuition has been kicked up some of you um, are going on a journey of love self-love love for the most high god or a romantic situation but just be careful with deception and envy that you have people who envy your light all right uh, for some of you if you are not paying attention and using your intuition here is going to lead to heartache all right, and loss, loss of physical um, items, loss of uh, people in your life or discovering that the deception and envy that you are receiving may lead to heartache and loss. All right, but just be patient and continue planning, keep, continue to go on the path that you were sent on. Uh, the Most High God is also planning for you. Let's see. Let's do one more card before we move on. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God. Is there another card for the collective? Yes, it is. So we do have uh, two cards, actually, that came out. Three. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, a couple of cards turned over. So I'm going to take those cards all right we do have um some of you may have been suffering in silence with the stuff that you have been going through in this path that you have taken all right we do have transformation happening though in your suffering in silence you're going to be able to celebrate even though there may have been disruptions in your life uh, we do have accelerated motion for many of you. So continue to stand your ground and use wisdom. Wow. Because in the end, on the bottom of this deck, we have recognition and reward. You will be recognized and you will be rewarded for standing your ground, for doing what you need to do to help others because your light draws people to you. Sometimes you have people who... Um, are upset because of your light, but know that the Most High is watching you. His angels are protecting you. All right, we're going to move on in this message. And we're going to be using the Illuminated Path 
deck that is available on my Etsy shop. Okay. And my Etsy shop uh, is under Intuitive Empress. So if you search Intuitive Empress, it will come up. And I will have the link in the descriptions. Okay. Mm. So there was a third party for some of you. Um, it could have been a person. It could have been work. It, third party is anything that this person is putting in between your relationship. Uh, we also have the heartbreak coming up again. But there is achievement and success um, going on in your future is working right now. For some of you, you might still have some emotional baggage from the relationships that you had because we do have the lover's card. Um, someone that you uh, thought to be your soulmate, but you have the soulmate, the divine connection, and then you have karmic toxic connections. So for some of you, you may have had that toxic connection and then you have karmic justice, fairness, and balance coming your way. All right. Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to juggle you, uh, possibly juggling finances, or you could be juggling finances because your finances are not where you want them to be. But we do have the Archangel card for divine protection. All right. Someone is coming in to try to sweep you off of your feet, and that is what you have been protected from. That's why your intuition has been heightened. All right. This may cause you to um, grieve someone. All right. Or something. It could be something that you're grieving. Um, regrets. Hmm. Yeah. I see conflict and defeat. Some of you are feeling defeated from the trials that you have been through, but you have not been defeated. Okay. So uh, we do have that third party energy, that karmica energy or uh, karmic Chris energy. You can flip it. All right. But you are seen as a divine leader, an emperor or an empress. Okay. Divine. All right. Wow. Okay. All right, so then we do have another soulmate card. This doesn't even belong in a deck, but it came out. All right, so um, there is a friendship, someone you had a spiritual connection with or a soul tie that's involved in this situation. All right, and I'm going to put this in its right place, in the right deck. Um, but it happened to come out, so it is what it is at the end of the day. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. And we are going to go deeper in the situation and clarify what's going on. Hmm. If you're suffering from heartbreak, just do the inner work because you do have achievement going on. For some of you, you're bothered by what happened in the past. And so that's where the emotional baggage is. But in the corner, we have the owl here sitting in the corner. All right. For some of you, you may be feeling haunted by the past. All right. But don't let the enemy steal your joy. All right. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Okay. Um, we're going to go and find out what's going on. I'm just going to clear the energy real quick. Hmm. For some of you, you may need to do some self-reflecting or you have been um, from this codependent relationship. Some of you had a codependent relationship, a uh, clingy relationship, toxic relationship. All right. Mm. So we do have uh, something coming to a complete end. For some of you, you may have had rumors spread about you, but that situation is coming to an end. All right. The truth is going to be revealed in this situation. Mm. Somebody could have gotten arrested for a drug charge, narcotics selling, or they could be 
um, addicted to substances and that led to their arrest. Um, or they could be in bondage because the, that is a bondage card. So someone um, that you felt like it was meant to be with, the phase is ending. You just need to hold on to the guidance of the Most High God. He's been sending you signs and symbolisms for you to hold on to and for you to see your way clear of what is going on. All right. So you have some people who are going to apologize for you and want your forgiveness for spell work that they have done. Word curses. All right. This is someone who appeared to be someone else. All right. Again, we have angel numbers, signs. You have been seeing signs. All right. At this time, you have been protective over your heart, very guarded. And that may be wise. OK, this person is no longer going to have access to you. All right. Um, because you have been going through a transformation that was on the cut of the deck. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. What did I say? I can't make it up. Confirmation, signs and symbolisms. The Holy Spirit is trying to get your attention. God is trying to get your attention at this time. You are leveling up, but you have someone who uh, is going to be coming in that has similar experiences to you. That could be you joining the community and having your soul tribe. It could be um, a, a new lover coming in, a new friend coming in your life. Or a mentor. Wow. All right. We're going to close this up. I don't want to stay here long. All right. We're going to get the divine messages and see what happens. We're just going to clear the energy just a little bit. Again. On this deck. All right. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, what final messages do we have for the community? All right. You wanted that to come out? So let's see. All right. So there is someone who suffered loss of a job, of a home, of family, of business, or of money. This could be you. This could be someone else. All right. Um, you have someone who wants a family with you. Hmm. Because you have star power. For some of you, this is going to be a reunion of someone from the past. Could be a friend, could be a family. Um, just watch out for the karmic cycles by keeping your vibration high, by listening to the most high and the guidance that he has. All right. There is no need to worry because things are working out for your good. And it's time to pause, reflect, rewind um, on your situation with a person, with a job, with whatever situation it may be. Mm. We have someone who is jealous. So that jealousy is going to come out um, at this time. Divine Feminine. So you could be about to meet your Divine Feminine or you could be the Divine Feminine. Take it as it resonates. All right. You do the right thing. We do have the facts card. So that means that everything that's in here is facts for who this resonates for. We do have someone who, again, is in bondage. This person may be doing 20s of life. Or you could have felt bound and held back for about 20 years. All right. Um, we do have someone who is uh, angry with themselves and begging for mercy at this time. Because you cut them off. Mm. This person is being brought to their knees. Why? Because of all the things that they have done. Now they want to come and apologize, but you are not letting this person back in because they are getting their karma and it's not good. All right. So you have to break the karmic cycle with this person. Hmm. All right. I'm going to leave this here. If this message resonated with you. Let me know by liking this video, no matter what platform, heart it, like it, share it out. All right. And subscribe if you are a YouTube viewer. Thank you so much for joining me for this message. And I'll see you at the table again real soon. Bye bye.